What's up guys, here's Dwini, I hope you're doing well, today we're back in automation. So in today's video we're going to take a look at the differences between a cross plane V8 and a flat plane V8, explain some of the pros and cons of it, and also take a listen to it, know the sound and all that. But all our variables are going to be the same, like your RPM rev limiter, your fueling, your timing, your cam profile, exhaust size, etc. That's all going to be on the same plane, because you'll see later in the video. The first one we're going to be taking a look at is of course the crossplane V8. So now we're going to talk some of the pros and cons of said crankshaft. Pro number one to me, it's more reliable. Pro number two to me, it sounds better. I'm more of a muscle car fan. And third, it's not that expensive to manufacture in a retrospect. Now some of the disadvantages of course, it's more weight that you need to add to make it balanced like it needs to be. And of course, how slow it revs up. I'll talk about that a bit later with the flat plane engine. That's why the cross plane V8s are also, the block is a lot higher. That's why you're looking, when you look at the valley of it, you compare the two blocks, the bare blocks to one another. You'll always see the cross plane block is a lot higher. So, now we can go over and run the engine and show you how the crankpins are separated as you can see in front of you right about now. So the first thing you can note by looking at this crankshaft is that your front cylinders, meaning cylinder number 1-8, their connection where they come up and go down, meaning up in top dead center and one down at bottom dead center. Now because it took the intake manifold away, now you can see your very front cylinder is a TDC when your whole back cylinder is at bottom dead center. Now you can take a listen to what it sounds like. Okay, so now you've heard that beautiful beast sing up to 9000 RPM. Now we can move over and go out and copy this engine and just change the crankshaft and see what exactly that does and explain it. So of course the next crankshaft we're going to talk about is the flat plane. Now we can talk about the pros and cons of a flat plane crankshaft. Number one pro of said crankshaft is it is light enough that this engine will rev up extremely fast. Number two, it is of course shorter, like I explained, the whole block height difference. And of course it's lighter, because you don't need balancing mass, because everything is in the same plane. That's why it's called the flat plane. And you saw the giant jump in power. What I mean by that is you get more power to your wheels instead of power being wasted in your drivetrain loss. So, as you can see there, we went from 1794 horsepower up to 1841 horsepower just by changing the crankshaft. I don't know about you, but that to me sounds insane. By changing one part, you almost get 100 extra horsepower from it. Now let's talk about some of the disadvantages of a flat plane crankshaft. Number one, you have a very big imbalance happening because of the engine only operates in one plane. Next thing is this engine is not as reliable and the other one is that this engine's smoothness went down from a smoothness of 76.4 and now our smoothness is 61.1. I'll also show you in this running of this engine the simple fact of how the crankshaft is set up. I know words don't always work that well so I'll use a display here. I'll also run the engine really quickly and then you can take a listen to it. Sounds so much more refined, it's, it doesn't sound as growly and angry and all that. So yeah, there's my take on it and uh, do like the video down there and comment down below which one was your favorite and uh, also tell me if, if I missed any facts, excuse me, 
And while you're down there, please do consider to share it with a friend and of course subscribe because it really helps me out bringing this content to you. Anyways guys, that's going to be all from me for, for today and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, see you in the next one.